This application provides you with a wide variety of options for user rights and data sharing via users, roles, profiles, groups, data sharing rules, fields, and links permissions. So it's an ideal fit for any small to mid-size to large travel agencies. When you get inside this application and you go to set up out here, you'd be seeing there's a whole section which has been dedicated for user rights and permissions. So you could get inside the users. So if you look at each of the users that you'll be having inside the organization, you could define it over here. And for each user, you'd be assigning first a role. That means at what position in the organization hierarchy do they reside? So for example, over here, I have the CEO and I have the manager. Below manager, you could also create different other levels. So for example, the manager could see the data for himself and if anybody else in future is joining below him, he can also see the data of those people. The CEO can see the data of all the other people. So roles will primarily determine the data visibility. Now, within a role as well, you can create multiple profiles. So profiles will determine that who can do what. For example, if you get into the profile of the agent, for example, you could determine out here that which all tabs the user can see, whether they can only view that, whether they can create that or edit that, whether they can delete this part of it, whether they can share in a record with their peers, things like that. Now, besides that, if you have got a large organization and if there are no defined way of data sharing for example you might want to have from group a data to be visible to group b set of users you might want to create different groups out here so within the data sharing settings there is something called group and once the group is set you can create new sharing rules out here for your different modules like for the leads module companies so on and so forth also over here in the data sharing settings you might define whether you want to keep the modules private or public that means by default all the modules would be private but for example products module would be something that you possibly would like to have all your organization users to have access to that because you won't like each of the users to create their own travel products. So the products module you might want to keep public read only while the rest of the models you might want to keep them private and the data visibility would be determined based on the roles and within a role as I mentioned you could determine that who can do what and that is governed by profiles. Mm -hmm.